the day though. I thought we'd talk uh, Washington H. Sol Patents and uh, they posted full year net profit just over 690 million bucks. That's up over 700 million from a loss this time last year, but that was because of one-off items uh, to do with the uh, merger with Milton Corp. Um, net cash flow from investments, uh, 425 million, up 22%. Um, final dividend, 51 cents a share, that's up 21%. Uh, despite all this, company shares down over 6% this morning. Uh, earlier, I chatted with the chief executive, Todd Barlow, and asked him, what the hell is the market doing? Cutting down um, uh, down 6% after what looked to be a pretty good result. Um, he expressed some uncertainty, claiming that could possibly be a short-term thing. He's not sure how he can support the share price anymore. Let's have a listen to it. Explain it. I can't explain uh, yeah, markets uh, you know, in the short term, which is probably why it's good that I'm a, a long term investor. <laughs> last year, you know, that certainly washed through. We had um, you know a, an odd result last year with the, yeah. the big write off attached to the Milton um, acquisition. But but you know all of the all of the uh, key numbers that we look at, and we tend not to focus on P and L because you know we're an investment portfolio. So what we say is look at how the business has grown, the, the, the growth of the portfolio. Yep. We did 1.3% better than market last year. And then look at the cash and the, and, or the yield that we generate from our portfolio, and that was 22% better than last year. So I, I'm not sure what else we can do to um, uh, support the share price. Brady, what are you analysts doing? Uh, uh, it's just <laughs> seen a pretty good result. You, he can't explain it. It's a great you result. It is a great result. Um, there's possibly two reasons. Investors it could be taking some profits because it's been on a run for a little while now, uh, up I think it's 14% this year yep. and up 22% over the last five years. So it's it's been on a run. It's a great mm. stock. Um, it could be being punished as well because Brickworks came out today with their results. Their profits were down 32%. So, and Washington H. Sol Pattinson is the uh, leading shareholder of Brickworks. Right. So investors might be thinking that's the impact of Brickworks coming through to Washington H. Sol, having an impact over the future. Um, costs are set to run, it's the costing reason um, so the, they didn't weather the cost well at Brickworks for the FY23. And so I think the investor fear is that Brickworks can't control costs heading into FY24. Uncertainty is on the horizon still for the next year. Volatility is right. really high. Um, the building sector is still So impacted. Brickworks shares, of yes. course, down today down about 7%. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's only a reasonably small part of Solpat's portfolio. It is. And it drops exactly the same. Yeah. What Todd was explaining, he couldn't understand the Brickworks pullback as well because yeah. he said everyone f says it is a building materials company and costs have increased in the building materials side. Yeah. But the building materials side accounts for 10% yeah. of the total Brickworks business. Yeah, the Brickworks business is phenomenal. We've just initiated coverage of them as well. Yeah. And we have a buy rating. The company is so diverse. It is so big. It has a property portfolio as well. As we know, there's a property crisis in Australia, so anyone yeah. with property on their hand is going to boom. So yeah. it's a crazy I time. I didn't realise the brick part of the business was less or, or was around, he said, at 10% of Brickworks total. Yeah, business. and I, I think anyone, any, as we saw in reporting season as a whole, any investor seeing a negative profit, any costs not being weathered properly, right. investors just hit the sell button straight away because they're so scared of uncertainty at the moment. Volatility index is so high and everyone's just kind of reshuffling portfolios into the right. safer options heading into FY24. But as, overall, the result was great. Um, Washington H. So has a holding in West Farmers as well. West Farmers absolutely killed their results. So yeah. I I think looking at the broader portfolio and the fact that they increased dividends, they had, they're looking at acquisitions. They've got a lot of money on hand, so Nine, cash, 900 million 911 in cash. million in cash. Yeah. So it's just, I don't know what investors are doing today, but I would use this as an opportunity to buy in. Okay, buy on the pullback. Yeah. Josh, mm. grumpy Josh. You're, like <laughs> a, you're, a, you're about to slam Soul Pats, aren't you? <laughs> no, I just no. get that feeling. <laughs> Just no, no, we it. like the business. Um, they've <laughs> increased that dividend again. Um, you know, yeah. they're, they're up, they've outperformed the market as well. So their, their portfolio is up 12%, 12 uh, for the last year. Um, it's one of those... When, when they were defensive. Yeah. Like, even yeah. though they're in defensive mode, yeah. they still outperform the market. 
Yeah, well, mm. a lot of their, about half, I think, at the moment, and it, it's become a little bit less with the, the recent merger with the Milton Court, but half of their portfolio is in those strategic investments, they call them. So yeah. that's things like the Brickworks, things like the New Hope, things TPG. like the... Yeah, TPG, yeah. exactly. So, um, yeah, they've, they've increased their dividend by about 18% over the last two years. So they're sticking to that 23 uh, years of consecutive yep. dividend increases, which is... You know, almost like Macquarie's 30-year profit run. It, it's hard to deny that long-term success. Right. Um, the Brickworks has weight on them, um, but also they do have a, a decent holding in a copper company, Eris Resources, where the performance, the share price of that has been. So that's part of their strategic portfolio as well. Right. Yeah. Um, so that sort of is uh, one of the smaller copper plays, similar to the first company we've got today, where the share price has been beaten up quite a fair bit. Yeah. Um, it's not. It's not a small holding that they've got in Eris Resources either so yeah it's highly impacted by that I think the shares um, in Eris resources are about 70 80 percent down so yeah it's wiped right. out a fair bit of value there uh, one concern is I guess just their continued um, pouring into private equity so their, uh, their, their assets are worth about 10.8 uh, billion now um, 1.2 billion that is in private equity and I think mm. they doubled that over the period yeah. Um, so yeah that's and, a, and, a, and the pipeline concern. is more in private equity mm. for mm. that cash reserve that they've got. Exactly. Yeah. So look, if they do that well, all, all is good, um, but it's a, it's, a, it's a risky risky end right. of the market in, in this environment. But um, yeah, I was looking at it the other day um, with the market pulling back and saying, okay, well, you know, maybe that's pulled back, but it, it, it was remaining at its yearly highs. So um, yeah, I think any, any sort of pullback, uh, maybe, maybe not today, but you know, tomorrow or the next day over the week, um, it might be a good buying opportunity. Okay, so you'd have it as a buy? Yeah, have it as a buy now. Okay. 